John Dross from Coombe Square Music here. Today I'm going to go over the very basic rock beat with you. Okay, this is for a beginning drummer trying to figure out what to play. Okay, it's going to have eighth notes in the right hand on the hi hat, or it could be on the right cymbal. I'm going to do on the hi hat for right now, like one and two and three and four and. My bass drum is going to play it on one, three, one, three. Herm's going to play on two and four. Two, four, two, four. Here's what it sounds like all together. Okay. That beat is simple, but it gets the job done. Most rock beats are kind of based off that. They're eighth note based. The bass drum is playing something on round one and three. It's starting to play something around two and four. A variation is having the bass drum play on all fours. One, two, three, four. Sounds like this. Some simple variations, I can move that bass drum beat. Instead of playing it on one, three, I can play on the and of one, and the and of three, one and two and three and four and. Sounds like this. Another variation, I can have the bass drum play on two and four with the snare drum. This would not be very typical, but could be used for a special effect sometime. Sounds like this. Another variation is putting the bass drum on the end of two. And the and of four. One and two and three and four and. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again, that wouldn't be real common, but it's a possibility. Some other simple variations, instead of doing one on the bass drum, doing two. Going one and, three and, one and, three and. This is very common. Sounds like this. And again, I can move that eighth note pattern. I can make it be sort of one and, one and two and three and four and. Sounds like this. I can play on, move it again, play on two and the bass drum. One and two and three and four and. I can play on and one, and three, and one, and three. I might call this the heartbeat groove. One, two, three, four. That's some simple ways to change up the bass drum. Of course, the first half of the measure can be different than the second half of the measure. So I can do a single note on count one, and then do an and three for the other part of the measure. Sounds like this. OK. 
okay? And there are lots of ways to vary up playing a single note and playing a different note later on. Here's one more. Another variation is to play the bass drum on three eighth notes, but skipping when the snare drum plays. So this one goes one and, and three and, and one and, and three and. Sounds like this. Another variation is to play all eighth notes on the bass drum. I don't play this one for too long because your, your leg can tire out, but it makes a real driving, pulsing effect here. Now for this video, I've been playing a uh, right hand on just the hi-hat. You can play any of these patterns with the right hand on the ride cymbal as well. We have the same sort of sound. Now if that same sort of sound, I meant really the same timing. Of course, the ride cymbal sounds different than the hi-hat. It's a more wide open, washy sound. Another variation is just doing quarter notes in the right hand. Instead of playing the eighth note, just doing four notes. One, two, three, four. That can have a little more punchy, aggressive sound to it. Do the same thing on the on the right and. Now the ride cymbal, if I want even more aggressive sound, I can play up here on the dome. With that really bright kang sound. So, that's some basics on getting a nice 4-4 rock groove going. I have another video coming out later where I do more with 16th notes in the bass drum. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.